Hi, I'm Dr. Judith Sebesta, the author of Telling Stories to Save the World, Climate Change in Narrative Film. My recent personal experiences dealing with the effects of climate change have led me to become a passionate advocate for addressing human-caused climate change. At the same time, I'm a former professor of theater whose expertise and passion have shifted to film. And this text marries these interests. Filmmaking is a powerful form of storytelling that can inspire social change. And there are few social issues more urgent than climate change. This resource focuses primarily on narrative film, also known as feature films, as opposed to documentary film. The resource explains why. Some of these climate fiction films or cli-fi films are dark, disturbing, even violent. I would argue necessarily so, but also uplifting, heartwarming, and even funny. Their range mirrors the spectrum of human diversity and the complexity of the climate change crisis. And I hope this resource does them justice. Let's take a quick tour of telling stories to save the world. As you can see, I published this resource in Pressbooks, a very user-friendly platform with both institutional and individual subscriptions available. Telling Stories is openly licensed CC by NCSA, meaning you can share this resource and even adapt it as long as you attribute me, share it with the same license, and do not use for commercial purposes. Since climate change affects us all, I believe it's crucial that information and knowledge about it be as open and accessible as possible. Speaking of accessibility, I have worked to ensure that this resource is as accessible as possible to all readers and learners. So let's dive in. Here you can see the learning objectives for the resource. I have also embedded videos throughout this text. This one I created myself to introduce the text. But as I will show you, the rest of the videos are primarily clips from the films I discuss, as well as some interviews of the creators of the films. Here at the end of this module, you can see my roadmap. Oh, here is one of the films, uh, a clip from the film Don't Look Up, which is featured prominently in this text. <laughs> so, and here at the end of this module is my roadmap for the resource. Now, let's take a look at the main body of the text. Because I myself am not a climate scientist, I have reproduced in its entirety a chapter of a guide for climate change educators. The license allows me to do so but it does not allow me to alter the text due to the no derivatives conditions. But I think it provides an easy to understand overview of the facts of climate change. Then I continue to lay the foundation for this text by explaining the focus on narrative film as well as defining the cli-fi film. As you can see throughout, Let me go ahead and show you here. As you can see throughout, I included images to augment the text and these are all either openly licensed or public domain or under fair use. And, and here at the end, here's, you can see another image here. And here at the end of this module, you can see that I have included as I have in most of the chapters an end of chapter knowledge check. For these, I used H5P to build the quizzes, but because the individual press books license I have, as opposed to an institutional license, does not include H5P integration, I was unable to build these in press books. So as a workaround, I built them in a page on my business website. The remainder of the text focuses on the films themselves. As you can see in this menu to the left, I have divided the text into five topics. Humans, bad, versus aliens, nature, indigenous populations, good. 
post climate apocalyptic dystopias, heroes and deus ex machina, which refers to a ancient Greek theatrical term, psychological thrillers, and finally, comedies. You might be surprised to learn that there are cli-fi films that are within the genre of the comedy. I'll just show one of these chapters now. I think that this, this chapter on post climate apocalyptic dystopias, it's kind of hard to say, maybe my favorite chapter, in part because the final film highlighted in it, as you'll see in a moment, is a personal favorite. But the films in this category may be the most familiar to many readers and viewers of this resource. They range from the panned Waterworld, although I have to admit in revisiting Waterworld for this text, I um, gained a new appreciation for it. To the blockbuster, Day After Tomorrow. And you can see here, again, I've added images. These are movie posters utilized under fair use, and then clips that I've been able to find on YouTube from the films, again, utilized under fair use. Some of them, though, are openly licensed. All the way to my, one of my personal favorites, which is the film Snowpiercer. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It was directed by the director Bong Joon-ho, Academy Award winning director for the more recent film Parasite. And then I finished this uh, chapter up with uh, both a critically acclaimed and a, a uh, very, very much popular among audience members, a box office success, I would say, Mad Max Fury Road, which a lot of you might be familiar with. The resource then concludes with a consideration of the future of these cli-fi films, I try to end this text on a note of hope, referencing the power of storytelling. The imagination is a potent tool, I write, unlimited in its capabilities. With this optimism in mind, I'd like to close this text by turning to a non-cli-fi film and quoting Tom Hanks, as Walt Disney, one of the cinema's most brilliant Imagineers in Saving Mr. Banks from 2013. That character says, that's what we storytellers do. We restore order with imagination. We instill hope again and again and again. Here is to hope, restoring order, saving the planet and its habitats and to the power of storytellers. May they inspire you to action. Then the resource includes these closing credits where you can download a badge to display your knowledge of cli-fi films. And here at the very end, you can see an appendix that lists all of the films discussed in this resource. I hope you have enjoyed this very brief tour of telling stories to change the world. You can access it at this URL here. Thank you for joining me.